we're clearly coming to a crossroads where the von Neumann architecture as an end-all and be-all simply isn't going to work anymore. Essentially what's happened is every scientific instrument now has a computer inside of it, and that's on Moore's Law. If you think about the global change in the World Wide Web, in financial transactions that are happening all over the world, that's all data. Now what you want to do is to find patterns in that data. To deal with this pattern recognition problem, we've got to have new architectures that are really brain-inspired architectures rather than human-engineered architectures. The human brain is somewhere between a petaflop, where today's computers are, and this exaflop we might have in 2020. When you look at the exaflop computer, it's going to need 50 to 100 megawatts of electricity to run, and yet my brain is running on tens of watts. Wow, that's a million to one more efficient. So it's been clear that we've got to learn how to capture this biological efficiency. One of the things we know from nature is that scale matters in brains. And so if you have a little fruit fly, it's got a brain. And it can do some pretty remarkable things like flying around and figuring out where to go. But if you scale up to say a dog or a cat, you realize it has a lot more capability of recognizing its environment, knowing who you are, interacting, behavior. So scale matters. And I think that we're gonna see the same thing when it comes to neuromorphic computers. And what's so exciting is the ability to finally get a really super scale in one processor, a million neurons and 256 million synapses in one true north processor. Now that's scaling. What we now need to do is work on two things. The software that enables those cores to be used in an efficient way, and more importantly, the applications. We've got to get our brains away from the many decades of von Neumann programming and really start fresh.